We're going to focus on Gander, Newfoundland for a few minutes because they found a very special way to celebrate grads and the class of 2020. You know, the class of 2020, they were babies back in 9-11 when Gander famously welcomed Strand airline passengers. That event inspired the musical Come From Away and look who joined in the celebratory video. Hey, Gander Collegiate Class of 2020. I'm Irene Sanko. And I'm David Hine of Come From Away. I know this isn't how you thought you would spend your graduation, but congratulations and know that you will have a story like no other year before you. One of the things that we learned from coming out to Newfoundland was not only that stories are incredibly valuable and they bond you together, but also that Newfoundlanders rock. They are resilient and they respond in times of hardship with courage, with bravery, and with kindness, and I'm sure that you will too. Good luck with everything. Good luck. Congrats again. <laughs> you want to find out how the community's responded? We have a story to share with you this morning. Let's talk to uh, Diane Vey Morosky, who is with me. Diane, good morning. Good morning. And, nice to be here. Oh, I'm so glad to be sharing the story. And one of the class of 2020, Joel Smith, who's actually the president of the Student Council at Gander Collegiate. He's in St. John's this morning. Hello, Joel, to you as well. Hi, how are you? I'm going to talk to both of you, but let me start with you, Joel, because there you are, finishing grade 12. How'd you do? Uh, you know, it was a little bit different, but I, you know, I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out, I think. Fantastic. How, how did it feel to be coming to the end of high school, missing out on all the things that are so good about the end of high school, prom and grad, and you weren't going to be experiencing any of that? Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a little bit disappointing. I think everybody was really looking forward to, you know, walking across the stage and, you know, shaking Mr. Drover's hand and all that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it's disappointing to miss out on that kind of stuff. But the way the community really came together has been, uh, has been amazing. So uh, even though we missed out on the stuff we thought we were going to get, we got to experience a lot of different things instead, which was absolutely fantastic. Organized by Diane and a whole bunch of other moms in the community. Mm -hmm. Diane, tell me <laughs> a little bit. Your daughter, Kristen, is one who is graduating as well, right, Diane? Yes, she is. She is. Yes, and so. she, you were on the, you were helping and to plan what should have been her big graduating prom, and then the pandemic hit, and what changed? Well, we kind of had to uh, shift gears really quickly. Uh, we had everything done. We were a month out from the grad and, uh, you know, the, the hair appointments were made, the uh, dresses were bought, the decorations were done, the ceremony was planned. So we have 157 absolutely wonderful young people graduating at uh, Gander Collegiate. And uh, they were all excited like everybody is with their prom. So on March the 13th, we got the news that uh, the schools were closed, so we had to shift gears. So we began first with um, creating a video uh, for the students. Um, we got a lot of local celebrities and um, people from outside of uh, Gander and Newfoundland. Mm -hmm. uh, New Newfoundlanders live everywhere. And uh, so they, they sent greetings. Then we did a separate video just for the students, highlighting them and their teacher sent along some beautiful messages. So we kind of started with that. And as it got closer, I was thinking as along with my other 12 fabulous moms uh, on the committee uh, and was thinking, you know, it just the kids were not really looking forward to prom day. And I thought that's so sad. And my daughter being one of them. So we ordered signs for all the lawns of the 157 uh, kids that were graduating. And uh, we just put a little post on Facebook and just out there to the community saying, you know, uh, maybe you could just tie a, a ribbon on the tree of the GC colors, red, <laughs> white, and blue, or a balloon, put up a balloon, you know, just to let the kids know that, that we're all in this together and that we are thinking about them and that we are supporting them. So that was the just just do something small. And we're looking at the pictures. I don't have time, Diane, in my whole program to talk about everything that Gander did in response. <laughs> but give me some more highlights because we can see all of these elaborate look at everything geared to the individual students, it looks like to me. Tell me see, tell me quickly give me a list of the things that, that you put together. I know there were prizes oh, and everything. Oh my uh, Heather, it was so heartwarming and overwhelming and many tears <laughs> shed 
Uh, we have, you know, we had 157 businesses. Uh, these are businesses that are struggling, small family-owned businesses, struggling uh, during this uh, pandemic. Some may not even open. And the prizes were from a little uh, bread box store, uh, the bread box here in Gander, making a cupcake for every grad, decorated with school colors, to a uh, gas uh, owner, a convenience store, giving away free gas oh my to gosh. two grads in a draw for the year. For the year. So, okay, Diane, I have to bring in Joel because I can see him sure. in my monitor. Our viewers can't see him, but Joel is nodding at everything you're saying so enthusiastically because Joel, as Diane was saying, her daughter, Kristen, were seeing her over her shoulder. She didn't really want it. It wasn't going to be promised. She knew it. But instead, mm -hmm. the community responds in this way. And then what did you and your classmates think as you saw this incredible response for you? Oh my God, it, it was fantastic, you know, just to, uh, you know, especially when you were expecting nothing to, to, to see all the colors and, you know, um, just driving around town, it was in houses and businesses, just everywhere, it was colors and signs and messages written on windows and, you know, and then the community was just giving things away and then just like uh, different messages of support and different signs and uh, it, it was absolutely fantastic. It completely bumped up the mood for uh, for everyone. So we're really grateful to have such a good community too. And I know uh, all across Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, people were doing things all across the province. So it was it was fantastic. What was your prize? You My gonna... prize? Yes. Oh yeah. Um, well, I want a I want a few gift cards. Actually, I, I want two <laughs> of the draws, and then there was a. Uh, free things all around uh, to all different kinds of uh, things like you like she said like every grad got to go pick up a cupcake and every grad got to go uh, pick up a flower and it's like like different businesses were giving things away for free to every single graduate which was a, you know that's a tremendous uh, thing to undertake so that that wow. it was absolutely fantastic bringing a smile to his face I think Diane is bringing a smile to yours what does it feel like to have really stepped up and filled in a big gap that would have existed for people like your beautiful daughter who we're seeing on the wall there. Uh, it, that was the goal for us. We wanted to make sure that the kids didn't feel alone. We all remember our, our own prom, Heather, and what we wore, who we went with, what we did. And we knew that couldn't happen uh, this year. So we just wanted the kids to feel that you have the support of of your, not only your parents and your teachers, but this whole community. And uh, I wanted them, we wanted them to feel the love of that. And uh, I had grads come up to me since that who, who did not want the day to come and told me that it was so much better than they ever thought. We had a big 2020 sign made by one of our prom moms, Charlene Lachlan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like, you know, these are fierce moms who get it done. <laughs> I can uh, see that. You're going to have fantastic memories, Joel. Just not the ones that you imagined, I guess, heading into, heading into high school, but totally different ones. We're looking at that sign right now. Everybody nicely physically dis uh, physical distancing there. I can see, Diane. Joel, I, I don't want to be a downer about all of this because it's just so, so heartwarming to hear this story. But I'm just wondering, here you are graduating planning to go off to university, I understand. How has mm -hmm. all of this changed your plans and changed maybe your thoughts on the future? So, you know, um, I, I was planning to go to Memorial here in St. John's and uh, they, they recently came out and they said that all classes are going to be doing uh, remote uh, remote uh, instruction. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit disappointing too, but you, you got to take into effect, you know, everyone's safety and such. But uh, you know, our province has been doing really good with the uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. We've really been uh, flattening the curve and, um, you know, our case numbers are getting pretty low. So, uh, you know, hopefully if things can improve, maybe uh, things can change and we can get back into the class. But, uh, you know, you, you got to think of everyone's safety, too. And I, I think we all understand that. And, uh, you know, so will, you do, uh, the, will it, you do the online courses? Oh, absolutely. You will. Yeah. Um, you know, you got you got to find a way around it. Yeah. But I think, will you do them back there in St. John's? Will you head back to Gander and do them from there? Uh, you know, I, I think people are, uh, are are thinking of doing both. I think personally mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing them uh, in St. John's. I think, uh, you know, um, I don't want to throw off my plans too, too much. You know, uh, you know, uh, normally when one, you know, one door closes, another one opens. So it's pretty unfortunate that uh, this next phase of our life can't really begin. But, I, you know, uh, personally I'm going to try to do everything I can to, to move forward and just to keep going. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I bet 
the rest of your class, all 156 of the other grads probably have that <laughs> same attitude. I was asking no, about whether absolutely. you're going back to Gander because it seems to me that's a pretty wonderful place to be at any time. <laughs> and if you're doing online courses, you might as well be in a community that obviously loves you so much. Diane, you've done something <laughs> very special for those young people. Thanks for the well, time. Wish your daughter, Kristen, all the best to Diane and Joel. All the best to you and the rest of the class so of 2020. Much. We're going to take a little commercial break, but some more of the messages to you, the videos that Diane was mentioning as we say uh, goodbye to that very special community of Gander stepping up again for the class of 2020.